right. So yeah, I received my score on April 27th, and then my finals ended by like May 10th ish, um, and then I had until June 19th to study. But in there, I also had to submit my whole med school application, which is like a ton of essays and like actually like a ton of busy work. I didn't realize how in depth the actual application it took me like hours and hours and hours and hours to write all that stuff and and get it all actually put together and the amount of times that I reread it. Anyway, anyway, that was due June 1st. And also, you probably know this by now, maybe you don't, but I need a 504 and over a 124 in each subsection to be able to guarantee me the interview. That's the program that I'm in. This is the first like exam that I took both of them. Um, March 6th, this is before my first test date. I got a 502, 125, 128, 124, 125. My B&B &B was actually my absolute worst section starting off. And so I like spent so much time and then I got a 507. Oh my God, this is going too fast. Um, okay, and then March 23rd. Okay, March 23rd was two days before my test. My test was March 26th. I don't recommend taking a, a full end test three days before your test. You should make it five days at least. I don't, I think that hurt me a lot. So I retook that and I got a five, wow, this is going very fast. Okay, I retook that and I got a 510, which I was absolutely blown away by. Specifically the C and P, I'm gonna go back real quick. The C and P you can see was a 124 before and that it was always on the cutoff and I, I just chose to ignore it because I was too like, nope, I have to focus on B and B and the rest of the subjects, I don't have time to just dive into physics because it just made me sad. Every single time I went in it, it made me sad. But that was the first time I studied. The second time I studied, I went all in, all in. And once you go all in, it, it, it actually is really not that bad because you have taken the classes before. So I, that was a huge mistake I made for the first test. So I, I went up by two points. Um, this is about two weeks into studying. And obviously we can't forget that these aren't actual full end scores because I would have reviewed, so I would have, I would know more questions and more material. This is full length exam four. Again, again, I got a 124. That was a week before my first test or two weeks before my first test. And you no know, wonder I got such a low CNP. It's just, and then this is the highest CNP I've ever gotten. And I was so happy. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a score reaction video to that because I was just so happy about that. Okay, these are my section bank scores. People say they don't really correlate, but I really wanted to let you guys know because on CP, I actually got a 55% the first time and I got done with it by like two days before the test. So I couldn't even really look in depth at everything. So I know this next one with the 68%, I know that's because I know content because I just, I straight up didn't have time to actually like go through all of CNP from the 55% because it was just so close to my test date. It was actually crazy. Um, so b and I got a 63%, b and &B this time I got a 67%. And so finally, this picture, I I did the chemistry Q pack, which I didn't even do the, for the first test. So that's like, wow. I got a 69% on that. I'm seeing a very big theme here uh, for section bank questions, around 41 questions. And that is a 126. So my actual for real prediction based on how I did on test day and on test day, I felt honestly decent about CP. I felt okay. I felt okay to decent about CP. Cars was crazy. I felt really good about cars and I don't want to jinx anything because honestly, every full length that I've taken, it's around the exact same score. Sometimes I feel awful. Sometimes I feel great. So I'm not going to take too much stock into that, but I, actually enjoyed these passages. I was ahead for the first four passages. I was like ahead by like eight minutes, but then the last five passages, I was down to the wire again and I, I ended with about a minute left. So that was, that was crazy. B and B by far will definitely be from 123 to 125. I mean, it is what it is. I just, everyone on the Reddit thread said that this, this section was the easiest and I was, my heart like i felt like i got shot because like it was definitely the hardest one and i don't know if it was because it was right after lunch the reddit thread had something interesting about pns a lot of people said they did really well on like fls and stuff and they didn't know what was happening and like again i'm really hoping it's not me like knowing so little that i think i know a lot i didn't think it was that bad 
I did get a couple wrong that were literally just like Erickson definition questions because I just I had no time to go over Psych and Soch. Um, I don't think that'll be my downfall. I really don't. Um, obviously, I wish I could have gotten those definition questions right. That was a little bit of a gut punch when I um, when I looked at my score after I left the testing center. However, my actual final prediction is that a 503 to a 508, and I need a 504, the, act the absolute worst case scenario um, is basically the 503, because if I get a 123, it doesn't matter what my overall score is. If I get a 503 in B&B, &B, I'm not getting in. So, here we are, and um, oh, wow, it's been a freaking roller coaster. This has been really hard. I think I cried once the past six months or whatever of studying. And that was after I got my first test. And that was like a month in. It's probably mid-May. And I just, I broke down. It was like, like I can't believe I put myself in that position to have to take this again. Cause it's just so hard. But honestly, like I've had therapy sessions and if I have to, retake this again if I get a 123 I mean that'll suck because I mean there were a lot of people that thought that I would get in because of the program that I'm in it just goes to show you nothing is really guaranteed ever you have to work hard no matter what um but my therapist and I talked and basically she said that at the end of the day you are going to become a child psychiatrist and help a kid. Like, I see that for you. And it doesn't matter if it's this year or next year that you get in, it's, it's going to happen for you. And I really felt like this is not, I'm not at my breaking point for medical school. Like, I still really need to go, I need to become a doctor and become a psychiatrist. And my whole goal has always been to help one kid and then I can quit. <laughs> I always said that. I said, I'm going to go and I'm going to help one kid who's powerless and I'm going to have power and I'm going to help them and then I can quit. That's what I always said. But we talked and it really, I'm definitely not at a breaking point. If I don't get the score, I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube. If I get anything lower than a 501, I'm probably not going to post it because that's hell embarrassing. Um... And I'm probably gonna unlist all my videos. I'm gonna study for four months and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna get a really good score and then I'm gonna post that and then I'm gonna be like, ah, journey to a good score. That's what will happen. I'm <laughs> I'm definitely taking a break if I don't get the score. But yeah, if worse comes to worse and I have to take this again, then what I'm gonna do on my year off is be a scribe. Cause honestly that seems kinda fun. When I was shadowing there were scribes there and I was like, wow, that seems really cool. Um, so that's what I would do in my year off if I, had, if I had to take a year off. I'd spend four months studying, like solidly, not like three weeks, not like four weeks, um, like four months. And I'd spend the first month and a half on content, and I need to have all of that down before I start getting into this test. And it's sad, but it's true. Because if I don't get this score, my safety net is gone. I don't have a safety net, I'm gonna need like a 513 to bounce back. and. I mean, I, I think it'll be ridiculously hard, but it's not impossible. I really don't feel like it's impossible, and this, I mean, this is going to be my ending. Psychiatry is going to be my ending. So, this is just another gate, you know, another stepping stone, another boulder. So, whatever happens tomorrow, I don't know. Wish me luck.